here. Um, here with the juice review, I want to just do a quick video. I was in a local brick and mortar shop looking for a couple different flavors, just wanted to try some different stuff. Um, saw this one and my wife was like, yeah, let's try it. So didn't really test it. I had been testing flavors for a while, had like three or four stacked. So I didn't want to throw another flavor in my, in my Addy, so I just grabbed it. And um, it's by a company called Peche Fog and Sauce. I think I'm saying that right. It's called Clockwork Chai. But it, yeah, it's Peche Fog and Sauce. Um, not too sure. They have a website. It's like PF Juice or something like that. Uh, anyway, just Google search Peche, P E C H E, Foggin without the G. Uh, so Foggin Sauce. They have a Facebook. They're probably, it looks like they're a little more active on their Facebook. Um, but yeah, it's called Clockwork Chai. Now, I've never tried a tea vape, like a chai vape or any. I've seen them around. I've seen a lot of stuff like that, but I've never actually tried one. So I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll grab it up, give it a try. And um, yeah, so pretty basic, basic bottling, you know, got the nice amber glass. Uh, pretty simple labeling. It is a company out of Alaska. Uh, so, um, yeah, they didn't really go, you know, too into their labeling. The printing on the labeling is, you know, it's done on a, you can tell it's, it's done on like a laser jet printer or something like that. Um, but yeah, they've got all their information here. It's uh 70, 30, so 70 VG, 30 PG. So it's a pretty, you know, pretty standard, uh, juice. Now they talk about how it's like a cloud chasing juice, um, how it's, you know, made for cloud chasing. So, you know, I was like, I grabbed it because my wife and I wanted to try the flavor, uh, but I started looking at it before I even vaped it, and I was like, okay, this, you know, this might be pretty good juice made for cloud chasing. That's kind of what I do, uh, or kind of my style of vaping anyway, bigger clouds, more flavor, that kind of stuff, lower own builds. Uh, so I was thinking, cool, cool, you know, this is going to be a good juice. But then I looked at the ratios, 70-30. You know, it's hard to call a juice, a cloud chasing juice, that's a 70-30 ratio. Um, usually max VGs, 100 VG juices are cloud chasing juices, but, you know, I still want to give it a chance. Um, but yeah, I've got it here in 6 milligram. Uh, we'll talk about throw hit, smell test, all that kind of stuff, so let's get right into it. So yeah, again, this is Peche Fog and Sauce, uh, Clockwork Chai. It smells like, it does not smell like chai tea. My wife loves chai tea. Uh, we drink it a lot. We've got a really nice little boutique style uh, coffee shop here called Ibis, Cafe Ibis, uh, that's world renowned for their coffee, world renowned for their, you know, teas and stuff like that. And this does not smell like gourmet. Like, like I, and I say gourmet because I know what chai tea smells like. I know what chai tea tastes like. I've had shitty chai tea. I've had the best chai tea, you know, maybe in the country. Um, this is not what it smells like. It smells like... I don't even know what it... I cannot pinpoint the smell. It's definitely herbal. It's not really floral, but it's definitely herbal. Uh, yeah. And it is pretty thick for a 70-30. Um, but yeah, it does not smell like chai tea. Like, I was expecting like a warm, creamy, you know, chai type uh, aroma. I wasn't expecting... It smells like an essential oil. I've smelled it before. But it's just not chai. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be uh, dripping this for you in a tobe, copper tobe on my Lucky 7s. Uh, I got my Mac drip tip on there from MC Mods. So yeah, um, I've got a 20 gauge, 5 rep 20 gauge sleeper build in here. Nice and dripped, all lined up. Uh, so let's see vapor production first. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I've got a 35 amp battery in here. Uh, I'm usually using 40 amp batteries, so it gets a little warmer normally. Uh, but all my 40 amps are on my charger. I've got like four of them on my charger over there. I run through batteries pretty quick. But, uh, so I've got a 35 amp MXJO in here. It's not bad vapor production. I mean, 
it's all again dependent on your build but I build for cloud chasing I build for tricking I build for you know big hits I build for like quick nicotine fixes while I'm at work I can just like sneak out the door and take two big old rips and I've got my fix and I can throw my mod back in my pocket and walk back inside but <clears throat> so my build is made for what they say this juice is made for and it's good you know, on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd give it a 3. I just reviewed uh, Taurus and another Nicobean flavor not too long ago. The vapor production on those, and they're flavored. They're just, hey, this is good flavor. They're not talking about cloud chasing or anything like that. Uh, the vapor production on the uh, Nicobean was better. It's 100 VG, kosher, you know, VG in there. It's nice and gloopy. Uh, it's, the vapor production is way better on that juice than it is this one, which is said to be a cloud chasing juice. It's called fog and sauce. I mean, they say all, the, all over the place that it's made to be cloud chasing liquid. But, you know, I, the vapor production is okay. It, on a scale of 1 to 5, again, I give it a 3. But for a 70-30, now if we just kind of narrow it down into a, you know, the 70-30 bracket, the vapor production is good. It would probably bump it up to about a 4, 4.5. If we just say, okay, based on other 70-30 juices, how does this one perform? This one performs pretty good for a 70-30. But, you know, it's not really, it's not really a cloud-chasing juice. I wouldn't walk into a competition with this juice, you know. I just wouldn't. Could I strip? Let's strip a little more. Sorry, I don't have my desk in front of me. Drip a little more, talk about flavor. It smells and vapes exactly the same. So when you, if you find this in a shop, or if you order a bottle of this, when you smell it, that essential oil smell that you're getting is how it's going to vape. It's like vaping an essential oil. It really is. It's like... I wouldn't quite say... It's like vaping perfume, but it all it's almost there. It's I don't know. It's <coughs> It's like vaping perfume. I mean, it really is. I'm going to vape through the bottle just cuz I fucking paid for it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend this, guys. Um, overall, as a juice, scale of 1 to 5, it's like a 2. It vapes. You know, it, it tastes all right. I mean, I I just, my wife, the first, she tried it, and she's like, if I want to vape essential oil, I just go grab a bottle out of the cabinet. And that's how it is. I mean, she kind of hit the nail on the head with it. It's like vaping an essential oil. And it's I think they put essential oil in here as like a flavor aromatic type flavor now kudos on the fact that they tried to give this liquid an aromatic not just a flavor I've been looking for a juice that tastes really good and also has a really good aromatic so it's not completely negative on this juice they did do a really good job of producing an aromatic with their flavor um, they just didn't produce the right aromatic it needs to be a warmer more I don't want to say holiday spice, but it needs to be a warmer, more chai-like spice. A more, you know, like, I don't know. Anyway, guys, on a scale of 1 to 5, I give this liquid like a 2. Um, you know, if it's, I heard they have some other really good flavors. Um, so perhaps, you know, if I try something else, I heard Lindbergh by this same company is really good. There's a couple other ones. Uh, I might maybe give another one of them a try uh, but at this point I don't think I will um, but yeah I if if uh, I get my hands on some of the other peche fog and sauce and uh, I like it I'll definitely shoot a review up and let you guys know but anyway uh, I'm Evan and uh, this was peche fog and sauces clockwork chai I would have to give this like a sideways thumb and a thumb up it's it's not the greatest it's not the worst by far but it's definitely not not something I'll buy again Anyway, thanks for watching.